to manage there. So, I want to congratulations tonight on pitching yourself out of a hole. Thank you. Yeah, uh, I got behind in counts, especially in the eighth. Uh, really hurt me. Then I hung an O2 curveball to load up the bases. And then Tom, our pitching coach, came out there and said, you got this. And he gave me trust in me and to get out of that. Yeah. So. Have you ever been in a position like that, bases loaded, with no out and having the rest of the side to face? I did. Uh, last game I pitched, well, no, two games in, a, in our conference tournament in college, I came in with one out with bases loaded and got out of it. So, yeah, I tried to go back to that and imagine that, how that worked out and do the same thing. Now, I noticed one thing on your um, pitching delivery is that it's kind of deceptive in terms of the same way you throw your fastball and you throw your curve. Right. I don't notice any difference. You, are you cognizant of that? Uh, yeah. Um, Especially against left-handed hitters, because I'm a little across my body, so I try to give the deception where it's starting behind them, it gives them a tougher spot. Because mm -hmm. I like facing lefties, obviously, mm -hmm. instead of righties. But yeah, so and I had they had a bunch of lefties in their lineup, in their lineup, so it worked out. There was one pitch in there. I don't know. I wish I had a jugs gun, but uh, you knew the pitch was like for a strike two on the second on the second out for the batter there. It had to be up there in the high 90s. Uh, Do you remember that one? Or yeah, no? I don't know about that. I, okay. I tried to bump it up because I just tried to keep the ball down. I wanted to let one go just to know I, maybe I had a little velocity. Yeah. It was impressive. And then the second one, dude, I think you, you threw the curve and I was sitting on first base. I just saw the bend in that ball. Yeah, it was a backdoor curve ball just to keep my balance. Well, it gave me a little bit. It gave me about an inch off, so that kind of helped out yeah. too. I think the umpire was, I think he was impressive too because he wasn't calling it right away. He was waiting to absorb the pitch and then call. Did you right, notice well, you that? Got, yeah, you got to show that you're going to be around the plate before they're going to give you anything. So, and, uh, before that, before I started throwing strikes, it was a little everywhere, so he wasn't going to give me as much. And you've got um, Dylan G coming in. Uh, pitch rehab to start. How does that feel to be, to be standing alongside a major league ball player? Well, that's cool. Try to get some tips, maybe help me out a little bit because I mean, I've only been here for three weeks. So this is all new to me still. So yeah, just trying to learn more from him because he's been there and I haven't.